get the p-value for this problem, we need to, first off, probably decide on HO and HA. So, there it's a proportion. I know it's a proportion because they aren't telling me any standard deviations. So, the null hypothesis is the population proportion is equal to 0.11. And we're trying to test that uh, the claim that proportion uh, is up from 11. Well, let's see. I guess we're going to test. I'm going to try a two tail test here. They aren't really telling me a direction. Okay. So then the next step is you probably ought to do P hat. So that's eight asthma sufferers out of 88 children. That's about 0 0.09. Let's double check that. At 0 0.091. Okay, so we're going to do a z-score. Well, actually, we need a standard deviation. Okay, so we're going to pretend that 0.11 is the middle. So it's 0.11 times 1 minus 0.11, which is 0.89, if I'm doing my arithmetic right, divided by 88. The sample size is 88. Take the square root of that. And I'm getting 0.033. Says round to two decimal places, but I think we're safe using using uh, that. So let's do the z-score now. That's the test statistic. So we got a test a sample result of 0.91. We'll round it since they told us to. Minus 0.11 divided by 0.03, and I'm getting a z-score if I round. Uh, I'm going to get negative point. 7 because table B only does one decimal place that's what we'll go with so I'm looking at table B I'm looking up a z-score of 0.3 and I'm seeing that that falls at the 61st percentile so about that areas in here represents a point let me write this out 0. 6127. So we want the tail area. Actually, we're going to want both tail areas as I said it's a two tail test. So 1 minus 0.1697 is. I think I said that wrong, but I'm calculating it correctly. So that's the area in one tail. And because I said it was a two tail test, I'm going to double it. So that's telling me a p-value of 0.6742. Huge.